Cool. Awesome. Okay. So I'm here with Chris Ward, who is from Cowrie. Um, so Chris, first, just tell us a bit about what, what is Cowrie? Um, what do you guys do? Sure. Cow well, I guess let's start with the problem. Um, many developers in the Ethereum space and the blockchain space, and to be fair, the software space, but let's focus on Ethereum for now. All know that every time you try to find an answer to solving a problem with a library or something like that, uh, documentation is usually out of date, it's missing, it doesn't work, it's not very good, etc. And Cowrie is a, a consensus spoke that has been tasked with trying to improve that. Uh, so we have a, a content repository where we're sourcing quality over quantity content on Ethereum related development topics. And we're also um, using some funds to help uh, projects improve their own documentation, commission documentations that exist in the near future. We're also going to be running some workshops uh, and currently within consensus, we're also uh, trying to coordinate um, a sort of standard across the documentation in those projects and maybe more broadly in the near future too. Awesome. And what are the prizes you're sponsoring around that sort of initiative? So we uh, obviously, well, not obviously, but we're going to be mostly sponsoring uh, documentation related bounties and issues. Um, and so we looked at a few key projects that uh, were sort of priorities in the Ethereum space. And we're still confirming all the exact, exact issues, even though the hackathon has, has already started. Uh, open source projects sometimes take some time <laughs> and that's why we want to help them. Um, so at the moment, we have already a bounty with ENS, the Ethereum uh, name service, to help create them an end-to-end -end tutorial. So someone who kind of knows what ENS does but doesn't know how to use it can just get started and build an application that uses it from start to finish. We're also going to be funding some issues with Plasma Group. Not a documentation on the core Plasma Group because they don't consider the project quite ready yet, but some uh, libraries that they use that they've created that are kind of more general tools that other Ethereum developers will find useful as well. So the details of, in fact, I have an email waiting in my inbox right now with the issues. So they should go up maybe already by the time this, this uh, interview is published. And then finally, um, we're also going to be having a bounty for Remix. Remix has just undergone, or is just undergoing, it's kind of in alpha beta right now, a completely new interface design. And we're gonna be hopefully sponsoring a bounty for someone to update all their screenshots and the kind of relevant text around because some things have moved and stuff like that. So those are the main ones we are gonna be funding. And yeah, the ENS one is already live and the others, hopefully by the time you see this. Awesome, I feel like all those projects could definitely use um, pretty much everything that I've seen in the open source software space is constantly improving its documentation. Yeah. And that sort of pays dividends down the road when those projects eventually have hundreds of contributors. Yeah. Yeah. Make it yeah. Exactly. It's not unique to Ethereum, <laughs> but, yeah. but we're sort of new and constantly in flux. So it's sometimes worse, sometimes better. There are some projects that are, do a pretty good job actually, even though they, you know, everyone, the problem with documentation is everyone always has a very specific problem that they want the documentation to solve and you can't solve that for everybody. <laughs> so. For sure. It's definitely, um, it's great to see this sort of thing emerging though. And I think that like, um, in particular, the incentives that you guys are providing for that um, are going to be a huge value add for the space. Um, one last question in terms of CTA sort of like, um, like how do you want to get people involved in the project? Mm -hmm. How can they reach out to you um, about these prizes? Um, and sort of, you know, what are the next steps for someone who wants to work on some of these prizes? Sure. So I guess there's going to be two questions people might have. One will be very technical around the projects themselves. And I will in attempt to help as much as possible. Though I'm not an expert in all of them. Uh, at the very least, I will forward your questions to the people who can answer. If you have documentation related questions around tooling, around advice, then I'm more than happy to help. And I'm generally Christian Schiller on most places on the internet. So you can ask me questions at Christian Schiller on the GitHub issues if you like directly and keep the conversation there. Or you can also find me in the Cowrie channel at Christian Schiller 
on the Ethereal Discord as well. Um, or you could probably find me in many other ways <laughs> if you really want to. But those are the probably two most obvious direct ways. And I'm currently in Australia for the next couple of weeks. So I'm in a weird time zone. So don't always expect me to answer immediately, but I will answer as soon as I can. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Chris. Um, this has been great. And looking forward to seeing what people build with, uh, with Calvary. Thank you. Awesome.